This video is to highlight some 3D modeling tools. The information presented here is not medical advice. I'm going to demonstrate one way of analyzing two-dimensional MRI images in 3D using Unity and 3D Slicer. MRI DICOM images are going to leave you with a set of two-dimensional photos or slices. Generating a 3D model out of these two-dimensional slices is going to allow us to analyze the issue a few different ways. Now there are a few different assets that will analyze DICOM images for Unity. I'm going to use the Unity Volume Rendering Public Project here by this developer. And then I'm going to head over to 3D Slicer's website and download this free software. This is going to allow us to trace out segments of the images to make 3D models as well. Alright, so what we have here is a patient who has developed chronic medial knee pain after an injury. After testing as well as imaging, the doctor believes this person may be suffering from plica syndrome or damage to the synovial lining, which is going to be getting caught under the kneecap. So analyzing this 2D MRI here, we do see some findings that appear to be consistent with medial plica. And in this case, you can actually see the plica from both views. So where you should be getting a smooth synovial lining around the knee, you're actually getting a protrusion here where it's getting caught underneath the kneecap. So that's it. Medically, this diagnosis is complete and they're going to go in arthroscopically and do the surgery to remove that. To the untrained eye though, it's really difficult to visualize what's actually going on here. So we're going to take these 2D images, put them into a 3D model, and see if we can present this a little bit differently. So here we are in 3D Slicer. This is going to allow me to trace out each segment as I go through the images, and it's going to build a 3D model off of this. You'll notice how blocky this is. That's because the amount of slices that the imaging takes is going to vary. If I wanted to spend more time on this to get a smoother model, I can actually have the software interpolate between the slices, adding more frames to trace. But I think for now, this should be enough to see the injury. All right, so here we have the femur, the tibia, the Hoffa's fat pad, and the patella, which is the kneecap. Cartilage is not shown here, so the spacing in reality is actually a little bit smaller than what it looks like on this model. So I'm scrolling through the imaging here, loosely tracing the area that the synovial lining is in. You can see this show up in real time in the 3D model here in red. And if we move over, we see pretty much what it's supposed to look like, which is this sheath on the outside of the knee. Now here is the interesting part. As we start to trace the plica out, we can actually see the synovial lining protruding out underneath the kneecap, and you can see where this would become very uncomfortable. As I mentioned before, if we were to show the cartilage and some of the other components, this area is actually a lot more crowded. But here it is in real time, we're actually seeing the injury shown in a three-dimensional way. And this really allows us to visualize what's happening underneath that kneecap. All right, so I'm gonna head over to Unity here. We're just gonna load up those DICAM files into a 3D model. This is completely separate than the 3D slicer file, but we can combine the two later on. I'm just gonna play around with a couple of different settings, change the views. As you can see, you can edit the transfer function here. One big difference is that this is gonna get rendered directly off of the imaging, where a 3D slicer relies on manual tracing. And here we see the 3D slicer model getting combined. So hopefully this has been informative to show you what kind of tools you can use to create a presentation. Any application created with this should be able to run on desktop, mobile, AR, or VR. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching.